Good morning, folks. Switcher here. What are we looking at, Switcher? A piece of styrene, guys. <laughs> um, I have no idea where this video is going to be filed at, okay? Um, I hate watching paint dry, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I always take uh, moments uh, in the spare time, I, you know, uh, the boob tube these days, all they got is freaking uh, reality TV, and uh, it simply doesn't turn my crank. So, uh, I'm constantly thinking, and um, this was uh, uh, spurred uh, on by uh, by MIG, okay, when uh, I saw several of his uh, weathering videos and so on and so forth, we use his 3x3 three three squares, this is a 3x6 square, and this is the same piece that I used for, uh, uh, not all the gunmetals are created equal, on the flip side of that, we had the, uh, the Leclerc uh, colors, <clears throat> Okay, that I practice on, and this is my practice sheet of styrene, and it could be used, uh, you know, uh, and when you watch MIG, you, you can see that those pieces of plastic that he's used, they got several coats of paint on it, and so on and so forth, and it also provides texture, which he discusses a little bit uh, as well. Uh, this uh, is a the preamble, okay, going into Big Red. Okay, uh, there's a, a word that we use in archery, and folks say, well, practice makes perfect, and the answer is no. Perfect practice makes perfect, okay? And I have no idea when I'm going to tackle on Big Red, but the first step is to do exactly what I did here this morning. Okay, I sanded off uh, the tape uh, the tape edges, okay, that were left behind, okay, on this piece of styrene, and I primed it, and, well... Well, what's so special about that switcher? Well, I just didn't prime it. I walked the dog. No, no, I didn't know. Uh, no, uh, I walked the brush. And <laughs> walking a dog is a total different process. I walked the brush, okay? And that's how vehicles are painted. Uh, I had mentioned before, and uh, I think I'm going to I'm going to put this under tip of the day uh, with a long description. Um, if you want to know about airbrushes, you go to the airbrush community. If you want to know about uh, painting cars, you go see the car modelers, and uh, and I've also seen how to paint candy, and I believe I have that. Yes, those uh, two segments, okay, are under uh, uh, modeling educational. Okay, one of them is uh, painting candy is exactly that, uh, the real candy. Okay, and the other one is a modeler, and I saw several modelers, and uh, this individual just happened to have the best information and the best explanation, bar none, from what I had seen, okay? And uh, the steps involved and so on, and he's the one that mentioned about uh, walking the brush, okay? But it's also mentioned in the painting car video, so those I want to see it go down here and have a look. And basically what it is is that uh, you start off the vehicle, okay, and you start spraying over here, and you finish over here, and you go back and forth, okay? And basically what it is, you got your elbow glued to your side, your your hand is rigid, okay, and you just walk back and forth on the vehicle. That way there, it's not an arc. You got a nice uniform paint job. And as you can see, uh, that is absolutely wonderful. And we're going to zoom in, okay, and uh, there we have it. That's my maximum zoom, okay, and uh, there's paint underneath there. This is paint over paint. Okay, and in a corner over here, okay, was uh, straight black styrene, and we don't even see that it's there. This is primed with Stylo Res, okay, a tip that came from, uh, it was a review that was done by uh, Scale Model Medic, okay, which, uh, absolutely beautiful. This levels off like there's no tomorrow, okay, and it's, it, it, even if it oversprays, you can, uh, he showed it, okay. But uh, this was walking back and forth, okay, uh, doing uh, the walk the dog, <laughs> okay, and uh, light coats until we build up to where we wanted and so on and so forth, okay. Uh, this is absolutely wonderful. It is good enough, okay, for um, what we do, okay. But uh, for an airplane or a car, uh, it requires some wet sanding, and uh, I could take some 600 sand to paper on that. Okay, and uh, it'll be as smooth as a baby's butt, as smooth as glass, and it's what you're trying to achieve on a car. And they start off with 600, and they build up, uh, depending on where they want to go uh, with it and what paint job you're doing, right up to 4,000, okay? I have all that stuff, by the way. 
Uh, so it's not uh, I'm going out to buy this. I just happen to have that. Okay, take it from uh, the wood shop. Okay, and bring it into the modeling bench. Okay, so I'm not uh, worried about that. Not only that, there are little pads. Okay, that are uh, that can be washed in the washing machine. That's being frugal. Okay, and uh, use those, and uh, they're spongy, so they the nooks and crannies. Okay, uh, so that was that. Uh, and so uh, that's for Big Red down the road, and I'll be practicing on this particular piece of styrene, okay, when uh, I, uh, I learn the other stuff that I need to learn for Big Red and all that. But in the meantime, uh, this piece of styrene is going to be painted white, okay, and uh, the flip side, if I need to, I'll do that as well. I'll paint one side uh, XF2 by Tamiya. Why? Because it's the purest white that is out there. Like, all gun metals aren't created equal, not all whites are created equal, and not all blacks are created equal, okay? <clears throat> but uh, from uh, the consensus is that XF1 for the purest white is XF2, okay, from to me, and that's what I'm going to do. I'd like to thank all that participated there on Saturday with regards to uh, finding me a UN vehicle. And uh, it was uh, short and sweet, and I came out with a response so folks uh, didn't inordinately spend their time in trying to help me out and all that. Uh, B's nailed it right on the head when he says the AVGP Grizzly OK from Canada, and that's exactly the vehicle that I had in mind. I was looking for a troop carrier. It was exactly uh, the vehicle that I had in mind. And I had researched uh, over three and a half hours there Friday night trying to find a specific vehicle. It's on the side of the box, so you're not going to get it. Uh, on the main uh, on the main box art, it's on the side, and more importantly, and although I asked for decals, more importantly, I was talking to Sergeant Bones or or Bill, who was an ex tanker, and he said, "No switcher, it's not a, just a matter of painting your vehicle white and shoving UN stickers on that." Okay, they are uh, there's markings on the vehicle that are specific. Okay, for whatever theater they're operating in, so although we could get away with just doing that. Uh, you know, a couple of years down the road or whatever, some or so on YouTube's turn around and says, you know, it's inaccurate. And so I'm not a ribbit counter, but I try to portray it as realistic as possible. And although we could get some uh, UN decals, the appropriate markings, okay, for that vehicle in that period, okay, will be in the box. And that's what I was, uh, I was looking for. So, um, this sheet's going to be used, okay, uh, in conjunction with that as well. And this is where I'm going to be practicing uh, some techniques uh, with regards to how do we weather a white vehicle without making it look dirty, okay? And uh, uh, it is uh, what it is. And uh, it's like Meek says, and when he was using some terms, like you push your paint back, bring it forward, tone it down. I've never heard Meek speak before, but it's stuff... And he, he mentioned where it comes from. He says, uh, mixing paints, okay? And that comes from uh, modeling class. And as a matter of fact, uh, mixing paint is an entire friggin' class when you, you take uh, uh, art and so on and so forth and understanding of different things. And uh, uh, he goes into, uh, you know, his filters, okay? And uh, and so on and so forth. And why <clears throat> they work. Like who, who would think that a freaking blue filter would work on a tank? Okay. It depends what you want to do with the color. And understanding the colors underneath. Okay. And then putting blue on there. Okay. Comes back to his artist days. Okay. He knows that. It's it's learned. Okay. And uh, another word that I use is own the subject. Okay. And... Uh, uh, what happens one day when uh, you don't, uh, you can't find what you're looking for, okay? Understanding the basis of what is happening uh, will get you will get you there. So uh, that is enough of that, okay? Uh, this is the fourth take, uh, too much waffles uh, in the other ones. And uh, that's my tip of the day, okay? Uh, with regards to uh, in-between modeling sessions, take your time to practice, okay, for upcoming projects, okay? It'll pay dividends in the long run, and you are not wasting or ruining a model. Without further ado, Switcher, signing off.